welcome to Brawlhalla. And welcome back everyone to the next episode of Playing Every Legend, where today we're going to be playing Diana. Uh, now Diana is a very balanced character in terms of stats, uh, slightly favoring dexterity and speed over her strength and defense, but they are all very, very balanced in the middle, basically. Her weapons are bow and blasters, which gives her a unique uh, playing field compared to every other legend, since uh, she has no real close quarters combat weapons. While yes, you can use both bow and blasters in close quarters combat, they are most suited when the enemy is a bit away from you. So uh, Diana is going to be an interesting character. Uh, anyways, uh, now we're going to get into her SIGs and then a few matches and then put her in the tier list. So I'm going to show you her SIGs now. And this is Diana in game. She looks like, I don't know, I don't really know, a combination of a 1800s noblewoman and a pirate. Uh, so yeah, very distinct look, although nothing really that interesting. Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get into her weapons. With her first weapon being bow. And this is a neutral sig on bow. Diana jumps in the air and tries to grab an opponent. I'm gonna show you it in effect now. Uh, it isn't something you can just grab uh, like this. It does work uh, off edge, you can do that, uh, which is really good. But the main focus is to place it in a combo. And a very simple combo is doing this. And when they're getting up, you do that. And then you can just keep keep hitting them. So yeah. Really interesting and useful SIG, since uh, it looks very simple, but it is very deadly. Especially since you can do it from multiple angles. And onto her side SIG, which is this. Uh, Diana spins around and hits the enemy twice. It's a really useful SIG as well, since it's a fast-moving SIG and covers a lot of distance. And yeah, with it you can start up a bunch of combos and... Uh, yeah, something like that could work. Yeah, you can start a bunch of combos and... Generally just kill opponents before they can react. And last but not least, her down SIG, which is this. Uh, this is how it looks when she doesn't hit anyone. Yeah. So basically, Diana drags her bow forward and grabs the enemy and then pulls them behind her, which is an incredibly useful move to have. Since you can both combo in front of you and then behind you. So yeah, you can control exactly where the enemy is going to be. Anyways, onto her second sig. Or weapon, sorry. Her second weapon, blasters. With this being her neutral sig. Basically, Diana places an orb uh, up in the sky and then detonates it. It can be used like this, uh, in where she snipes someone off edge. It can also be used uh, on the ground after you finish a combo or when the enemy is in the air. So you can't hit it uh, like this, but you can do something like this uh, to keep them in the air. Just gotta damage them a little bit, and then that. And then you can just keep sniping them. Also a very useful tool. Uh, anyways, on to her side sig, which is this. Diana rolls forward and in a bit of a downwards arc she fires uh, her bullet, dealing a great amount of damage. And very similar to her uh, bow side sig, it is a very fast attack that does a lot of damage and is a great way to set up combos. But as you've seen with this one, Requires precision to hit, since uh, it has a fine area. You can't be too close to the enemy. Un unlike with most uh, other characters, you, you need to be a bit away from the enemy to hit it. And last but not least, her down sig on blasters. Basically the same thing as on bow, she fires twice hitting the enemy and then pulls them behind her. Like I stated with a bow, extremely useful since uh, controlling where and how the enemy is uh, allowed to move is one of the more powerful tools in the game. 
And as you just saw, you don't need to hit the, the first shot. You can hit just the second one. And still get the uh, drag effect. And yeah, that is Diana's Six. I'll now be showing you a few games before putting in the tier list.
And now that you've seen a few matches of Diana, I'm going to put you in the tier list. Um, Diana for me goes to the top uh, of B tier. Since while not being my favorite character, she's definitely fun. Uh, the weapon combination is interesting. And she is uh, a character that has a really, really high amount of uh, skill expression. So you can do a lot of crazy stuff with her. But uh, once again, she is absolutely not a beginner character. Neither of her weapons are beginner friendly in that sense. So it's a bit unfortunate. And well, uh, for me personally, while I enjoyed playing her, the play style is not for me. Uh, not for me specifically. So that's why she goes to the top of beater. A perfectly respectable place to land. Anyways, uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and uh, consider liking and subscribing and tuning in on Wednesday for the next episode of For Honor. Have a good one and see you next time. Goodbye.